Hey there, Leo. Hi, it's Angie with Feisty Butterfly Tarot, and today we are going to do a reading for you for the next week to 10 days in January, and this one we're doing kind of a little bit differently. We're using the Finestra Tarot and also the Fairy Oracle, Oracle of the Fairies, and we're going to look at basically challenge, opportunity, chances, and then outcomes or solutions. So We'll start here with the Fairy's Oracle, and let me shuffle this one more time, and we'll see if we can pull a card for what what you might need to know thematically. All right, let's get these cards warmed up. Ooh, that's too many. There's like five of them. That's a big chunk. Let's see again. There we go. There we go. It's right there. Lost and found, okay. So this card, Lost and Found, is from the Fairy's Oracle and it says, what was once lost is about to be found thanks to the Lost and Found Fairy. Sometimes she can help us find things we never even realized were lost. I don't think it's, this is something that's talking car keys. I think this is talking sense of self, spiritual stuff, spiritual energies that are in the indigo purpley area which is like um throat chakra third eye chakra those kinds of things where we're expressing ourselves where we're downloading spiritual thoughts and thinking about these things and figuring out our own path and authenticity let's see if we can get one more thematically from the fairies fairy oracle for leo whoa well we have Three more. Three is a number that we can take. So I'll just read them to you in order and then we'll find out what the tarot's got for you. We have Magical Gateway. Let's see if you can see that. Magical Gateway. It takes courage to trust, to venture into the unknown, yet this is where the greatest rewards are. It's time to step boldly forward without looking back. This says ask for help angels and celestial beings who protect everyone and the fairies say now is the time for you to ask for angelic assistance so if you need to ask do this is heart chakra colors this is heart chakra um colors even in the some of the stones like over here um this is the time where it's time to be gentle with yourself and even though sometimes it's difficult to ask for help it is the time. There's a change going on. And then journey. Now this might apply to some of you very literally. It could be just a stage for others. It's time to prepare for a journey. It's it may be impromptu or planned. Either way, make sure you're ready when the time comes. Pack your passport now. So this to me indicates springtime traveling. So it could be within a couple of months that is very literal. It could be a couple of months of journeying from maybe a way of doing things in the past to what serves better in the current time. So, and it could very much be wait for spring, plan for spring, and you are actually gonna hit the road, go somewhere, make a move or transition. All right, so we're gonna look at the cards that are the issue or the challenge. And I, I chose this deck for you because um, even though it's pastel colors and I tend to go for the bold, I thought that this might be a little bit of a, a gentler message. Okay, something has ended. We're just going to lay them out in this order. Okay. So if we're looking at the issue and challenge, moving into opportunities and moving into solutions this is what we're seeing first is death this is something ending this is a transition of something this is um a time for mourning and loss and then moving forward and moving on this is a gateway opportunity so lost and found maybe you have had heartache maybe something you're grieving and sad about something has shifted energetically lots of us have lost loved ones and um it's time for us to figure out how do we move forward it doesn't mean we forget our loved ones. It doesn't mean we forget what it is that we've lost, but there's a time of refinding and reclaiming. Then we have the King of Swords in the upright. 
Okay, so if this is the challenge in the upright, the King of Swords is someone who thinks um, down the track. He's objective, he's logical, sometimes he's cool, he's not emotional. This is a masculine energy, the outward energy. It could be in either gender, masculine or feminine, so it doesn't mean this person or this aspect only comes this way. It's just how it's represented in the land of tarot. But the King of Swords is clear, um, just, truthful, calm, rational. That kind of thought, good at communications, good at messages, good at presenting things in an orderly fashion. That's the aspect of things. This is the challenge that you need. It's a time where there has been loss and you need to be clear thinking in how you get through this next little stage. Now, this is an interesting one. This is the clarity that you need to go ahead and move forward with your plan. And then this is asking for help. Now, this is the Five of Pentacles. This is often seen as the poverty card. This is when you're feeling on the outside looking in, when you're feeling wounded and hurt, but you don't wanna ask for help and you feel separated from your community. And sometimes this is a pride thing. Um, with some of the fire signs, there is a stubbornness and there is a pridefulness where you don't wanna be the one that asks for help or re-examines things or finds out, okay, where do I need to grow stronger? Where's the lesson in this? But there is a lesson in this. Um, there's a time for healing. There's a time for community. This time when you are feeling this in a big way, don't let the emotions overtake you. Make your plan. Be wise in what you're doing. This person is with someone. There is community, even if right now it's just the two of you. So hopefully you can see that quite well. So the Five of Pentacles is a time where you feel a little bit of coldness, a little bit of on the outside looking in, that kind of thing. Then you have the solution. The solution is the Queen of Cups and she's in reverse. Now the Queen of Cups usually has her cup covered and closed, like sealed, because she's keeping her emotions to herself. She's reflecting on um, the lessons of love and the price that they take on you. Um, Sometimes these lessons are good lessons, but they're hard. So she understands the lessons of love. She understands emotions. And sometimes she keeps things to herself. Now, when she's upside down, it's more in kind of in kind of the line of martyr, where you're just kind of in drama and woe is me, woe is me. So I think the solution is trying to find the way where you would be asking for help. You realize that even though you're feeling separate, there are people around that can help. Could be you need to switch up your things energetically in this next little bit. This Queen of Cups, if you want to upright her, she's got wisdom to her and she has the knowledge and appreciation for what she's been through. Let's look a little bit more and see what we can find in these areas. So for Leo, we are looking, it's still in the Fenestra Tarot or Fenestra. Whoa, actually that one is here. One more, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two more is what's coming, so that's what we're gonna look at. All right. Three, two. Okay, first one out in this particular area is the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords has to do with leaving rough waters for smooth. So if you can be visionary, be thinking logically, plan when you need to go, plan this, trip this getaway, this energetic shift that needs to happen in your heart, then you're able to move. You aren't moving alone. Notice again, she's got someone with her and she's got help behind her. She's got some support. There's someone there that's helping her, even though she's taking all this baggage as far as these swords, they weigh down the boat. It would be easier to travel without that. Um, she does have the assistance necessary to move forward. So deciding what is um, being left behind and where you're headed is important now. Be thinking forward, and that will keep you out of this over-reflection of emotion, this overly stuck in a wallowing, stuck in um, uh, emotional drama where it's just heartache, heartache, and you don't wanna let go. It's almost like sometimes we get so close to our heartaches that they're almost like a friend, a comforting friend, where we can be in our own little sense of mad or sense of rightness or sense of true hurt and we don't want to do the necessary thing to let go and move forward, but the time has come. Okay, next out, this is what we're seeing, all right? So we have 
the emperor, this is a time to be in the masculine energy where he puts order and structure and balance and rules things. This is the time to lean into that masculine energy. This could be someone that you actually encounter. It could be somebody with very strong masculine energy or even a actual male person. This is a big lesson for you. This is about putting the order in place. Now this is following the Queen of Cups. So this upside down emotional, um, highly sensitive type of um, mode that you're in. The highly sensitive of the world it's like a, a two-edged sword. It really is because some people think, oh, you're too sensitive, you're too sensitive. Well, that's that's your internal compass telling you when things are off and when they aren't. But you can get stuck in that high sensitivity and not want to let yourself grow. And that seems to be the challenge. You're being asked to journey forward. You're being asked to prepare for a different kind of future than what you expected. Next out, six of coins in reverse. Okay, things might feel a little upside down for you financially, for your resources, for your time. Things might be shifting. It's generally seen as a card of generosity where someone is giving to someone else. But it's also got this caution of somebody doling things out and choosing who is worthy, who is not. And this is something where you're the emperor. You decide what you are worthy of. You decide your own boundaries. You decide what rules and things are acceptable and how you're going to proceed moving forward. So there could be some legal things, communication things, things that need to be settled. Now, this back and forth, this giving and receiving, when it's upside down like this, it might not come out how you're expecting. It might not be that these resources are exactly what you were expecting them to be. It could be that you actually have an abundance where you are being asked to share and give more and give way, make, make leeway, make room. And it could be that somebody else is like, suddenly you find some unexpected money. So be aware on this. This one I'll leave in the, the upside down as well. Next out is the Knight of Swords. Now the Knight of Swords rushes in. Um, he is ready to go. He's full of truth, full of energy. He's actually kind of passionate, even though he's about intellect, communication, truth, justice, messages, that kind of thing. He charges. He doesn't meander. He doesn't take his time. He wants to go. And that's because he feels very, very strongly to fight for what is right, to fight for this cause. The caution on him is sometimes he charges in too fast. It's like fools rushing in. It's, it's a little reckless. So this is something that I would say on the caution. Don't be so caught up in the fight that you go charging off in the wrong direction. Take some time to really evaluate Find out where the help is at for you, okay? All right. We're going to look at the Fairies Oracle one more time and see if we can get an ending message for you in this. Oh, certainly we can. Healing. Okay. Wow. All right. This is gorgeous. You need to see this up close. Look at that. It is gorgeous. Look at all this magic that she has. All of this energy, inspiration, and spirit that's with her in her hands. And this is something right here. You don't recognize what you have in your hands. When you're in this mode, you're either giving or receiving, and you're about to either receive more or have the capacity to give more. So this is saying healing. Now is a time for you to give or receive. I'm not making this up. To give or receive healing. Everyone has a natural ability to heal others. Yes, even you. So search in your heart. Really search in that space where you feel aligned, joyful, and also very at peace. This is asking you to look for that crown energy, the crown chakra, the intuition, the spirit. And the blues are also to do with throat and expression. This is also in that bluish shade, trying to get you to express what is authentic, what is your need, what is really true, and what will bring you happiness. This might be a time for you to do some journaling and writing so you can get clear about how this needs to go forward. Okay, guys, that's what I have for you. Um, like, subscribe, tell a friend. Come back and see me again. Bye, guys.